everyone i welcome you all to focus of the day session of analyst ias in this particular session we will discuss about the topic lead poisoning we will discuss this particular news in the following series first why it is a news followed by about lead poisoning in india followed by prelims practice question followed by mains practice question but before we start our discussion i want you all to be informed about our programs of current 365 which will start from 9th of january and csat program which will start from 14th of november along with that we are also conducting various test series which include essay writing test series and psir test series so you can inquire about any of the following program on the given number and you can also visit our official address that is in old rajendranagar market so now let's move on to our, our topic of discussion and see why it is in news a central government report has found that india bears the world's highest health and economic burden due to lead poisoning so this brings lead and lead poisoning into news first we will understand about the key finding of this particular report the report was prepared jointly by government think tank niti aayog and csir that is council of scientific and industrial research it found that bihar uttar pradesh madhya pradesh jharkhand chatisgarh and andhra pradesh had the highest average blood lead level among the indian states and some 23 state have an average of bll that is blood lead level that goes beyond 5 microgram per deciliter which is the standard used to gauge poisoning the statistics are varying on a national level with the average for the country being 4.9 nanogram per deciliters for children less than 2 years the unicef report also noted that lead poisoning shaved off an estimated 5% of indian gross domestic product due to the lower economic productivity and reduced lifetime earnings it also caused 2 lakh 30 thousand premature deaths in india so this was about the key finding of this particular report now we will discuss about lead poisoning lead poisoning or chronic intoxication is caused by absorption of lead in the system and is characterized specially by fatigue abdominal pain nausea diarrhea loss of appetite anemia a dark line along the gums and the muscle paralysis or weakness of the limbs children younger than 6 year are specially vulnerable to lead poisoning which can severely affect mental and the physical development and at very high level lead poisoning can be fatal lead exposure also causes anemia hypertension renal impairment immunotoxicity and toxicity to the reproductive organs more than 3 quarter of the global lead consumption is for the manufacture of the lead acid batteries for motor vehicles now in this particular image you can see that what are the ways through which lead exposure occur first one is inhalation of particle released by the industry or recycling second one is through ingestion of contaminated soil or dust from decaying lead paints particularly when children play on the ground and put toys or fingers in their mouth they ingest these things second one third one is about the food or water contaminated with the lead and the fourth one is about lead containing products such as lead glazed ceramic and some traditional medicine or cosmetics through these lead exposure occur in human body now we will discuss about the indian government initiatives to prevent lead exposure the ministry of environment forest and climate change that is moefcc has passed a notification as regulation on lead content in household and decorative paint rule 2016 and has prohibited manufacture trade import as well as export of household and decorative paint containing lead or lead compound in excess of 90 parts per million so this was a law passed by moefcc to prevent lead toxicity now we will see 
other heavy metal intoxication the first one being cadmium its source is batteries plastic metal coating pigment air wire tobacco smoke and municipal waste and mineral fertilizers its symptom include bone damage renal dysfunction lung damage in smokers then comes the mercury it is considered to be the most toxic heavy element heavy metal in the environment it is released into air by various industry production like the paper or pharmaceuticals drinking water marine food and pesticide its symptom include tremors neurological issues decreased brain function depression fatigue and hair loss then we already discussed about lead then comes the arsenic whose source include paints soaps soil and mining and it can it is basically carcinogenic that is it can cause cancer and skin lesions neurologic problem nausea and vomiting these are the symptom of arsenic toxication now we will move on toward our prelims practice question which says lead ingested or inhaled is a health hazard after the addition of lead to petrol has been banned what still are the sources of lead poisoning this is a upsc question so please pay attention first smelting unit second pen and pencils third paints fourth hair oil and cosmetics so you have to pick up the correct answer your options are 1 2 and 3 only option b is 1 and 3 only option c is 2 and 4 only and option d is 1 2 3 and 4 pick up the correct option and write it in comment box i will answer this particular question in my next video now we will discuss yesterday's video's question which says which of the following statement is or are correct regarding the maternity benefit amendment act 2017 first pregnant women are entitled for 3 months pre delivery and 3 months post delivery paid leave second enterprises with crutches must allow the mother minimum 6 visits daily third is women with two children get reduced entitlement so correct answer for this particular question is c that is three only now we will discuss our mains practice question which says what are the consequences of the heavy metal pollution discuss you have to answer this particular question in 250 word write your answer and send it to us on our whatsapp number to get it reviewed so this is all for today Stay tuned with Analyst IAS for further updates. Thank you.